white coat and glasses. A black coat and black glasses. Albert Einstein. Guys in white coats doing little experiments with little speakers and stuff like that. Nerd. Pocket protectors. Albert Einstein. Person in a lab coat studying some new interesting thing that nobody knows about. In white lab coat. The dude in a white coat who sits around and plays with test tubes all day and then is probably really bored. Very boring people that are really probably afraid of most other people in the world. Somebody think outside the box. Well, methods and logic. Someone who's always questioning, wanting to know, wanting to always know more. Very logical, structured, complex. A empirical person who is in search of truth through empirical means. Painting a picture? A person in front of an easel painting some new masterpiece. Paintbrushes and canvases. Like a writer. A painter. Creative. They're brilliant. It's music. Guy with a beret and a pipe who's sitting around having a good time painting himself outside in the leaves on a nice summer day. Someone I'm just really jealous of because they can do stuff that I can't. Creative and artistic, not so structured. Something you don't make a lot of money at, but that would be really interesting to do. That's stressful. I really don't understand this stuff. Why am I taking this science class? Science is important. Everyone needs to know about science. I mean, everything in your life is related to science somehow. Well, that's great and all, but um, I'm never going to use this stuff in my career. I'm an international relations major. This is just too much. Well, I'm a biochem major and I'm taking this poli-sci class. Why do I have to take that? I'm never going to use this. You are going to vote and you're going to do stuff for your community. That's what political science is about. It's not politics. It's just being a member of the community. Well, aren't you a human being? I mean, you need biology for that. Your body functions. You need to know how it works, at least to some extent. I wonder if I do need the humanities to be a scientist. I think I'll go talk to some faculty and see what they have to say. This is James Madison College. This is my college, and it's basically social science and political theory. And I'm wondering what the professors here think about using science and their methodology and research. I do try to bring in some of the history, and I think it's important to understand the history and the political um, um, landscape that these ideas sort of came out of. Well, I work on evolutionary biology, so the humanities has a real high impact on my work because of the natural philosophy and the and uh, just the whole the whole historical underpinnings of evolutionary biology are really dependent on things that were more humanities based. And uh, so you have natural history and natural philosophy coming into play in a big way in evolutionary biology. And I think that by being aware of those things, it helps me to understand broader issues in my field a little bit better. The humanities clearly involve value judgments. I mean, we're, we're exploring values when we investigate great literature or great art. Scientific activity, while it depends upon values for its motivation doesn't involve values in its articulation so that the scientist is simply discovering what the truth is. Creativity is not the domain of the humanist, the artist, nor is it the domain of the scientist, but rather it's the domain of being human. I, I think uh, it would be a mistake to, to downgrade the interplay uh, of the aesthetics 
with the scientific impulse. Science is not, you know, cold, pure, detached, but that there is an interplay between our emotional self and, and the kinds of interests we have in science. And I talk about the double helix. No question that the appeal of the double helix, both to Watson and Crick and to the people um, who accepted it, was an aesthetic appeal. I mean, it's a beautiful structure. And that's how it was described. Uh, uh, I would imagine if when Leonardo da Vinci was alive and someone came out of the dark one day with a gun and put it up to his head and said, <laughs> are you a scientist? Or are you an artist? He would have looked at that person in total dismay, in a sense, not knowing what he was talking about. Because Leonardo would have felt, again, like I do. Not that I'm a stature of Leonardo, but that how can you really make a difference between the two?